Now the taping part. Now this taping is using Kinesio tape because we want an elastic tape because it's gonna be an active tape. The rigid tape is not really gonna work for this one. You want elastic because you're trying to create some drag. Now I use this as a patella lift, not a tracking or change, trying to change from lateral to medial or anything like that. So this is simply to try and lift that kneecap or give it some support underneath to try and change a bit of those mechanics when the person's squatting. And it's used for people who are either swollen under their kneecap, maybe they've got some wear and tear, some chondromalacia patellae, something's going wrong with the undersurface of the kneecap, or there's someone who has a significant VMI weakness and they basically got, you know, if there's someone who's had like a patella fracture or some sort of surgery or dislocation and they've lost their VMO here and they're trying to build it, but they have real trouble trying to do single leg squats and leg extension movements and all sorts of things because of the lack of bulk here, they're getting a lot of patellofemoral pain. This taping really helps give them a lift under there and supporting that kneecap, almost like a VMO and a quad holding that kneecap, if that makes sense. So you're sort of giving almost fake strength to this person and it's a means to an end. So it's not taping that you should use all the time, it's sort of a taping that allows the client to do the exercise to then build the quads, which then take over. So you're doing it to enable them to, one, get out of pain, but to be able to do their exercises is the main thing. Because this, I find that some people, if they're really stuck with fluid and swelling and wear and tear and a loss of quads, they find it really hard to get the exercises done and they make the thing better. So this one's gonna help. What I suggest you use is two strips of Kinesio. Okay, now you're gonna go from up here and around there. So it's gotta be a decent length. And you'll have to work this out yourself depending on the person's thigh. And I'd, you know, for Claire, we're gonna use about maybe four and a half of those squares, and then just double it over, okay? So there you go, so you got two of them. You won't need more than two. I always use two, the one sort of does the first job and the second one really grips it, so I would use two. Of course, with this stuff, round off your ends and then it won't sort of flake away when they're putting on clothes, that sort of stuff. Now, if you, if you haven't been on a Kinesio course, this is a crash course for you. What you're trying to do is we're trying to come underneath the kneecap, okay? So sub or sub infra patella under there and basically do that to it, all right? So you're trying to use the tape for that. So what you do with this Kinesio, make sure all those little bits are off. Now, if they've been taped before or they say they had moisturizer on, make sure you clean that skin and get it clean and dry with some alcohol. The trick we use, use tape remover to remove that stuff, okay? So if they're a bit greasy, or say you've massaged them out and they're a bit greasy, use tape remover, works every time. Um, what I would do with this is make sure that your ends are about maybe an inch and a half, two inches, because those two ends below my fingers, they're gonna be your lock ones, and they can't have any tension on them. What needs to be having tension on is this part. So you're aiming for the middle of that tape in the middle of that kneecap, okay? Now, if you just lift your knee, knee plan, that's it. We'll just take that towel away. The first one she's gonna use, if you move that knee as well, there you go, is you're gonna think, okay, where's the kneecap? You're gonna come basically over the patella tendon and that infra, infra patella fat pad like that. And then you're gonna come, once you've got that, you slowly drag up without too much and get into a position where you're gonna do that sort of U shape or smile shape if you like. And once you've got that, then you're gonna crank this up maybe about 50, 75% and get to the point where you're even. And you can, again, you can play with sort of medial or lateral at this point and then lock it down there. And then of course your end anchors are gonna be zero. Okay, so that section there has got no tension on it because you don't want that having tension. It'll eventually rip away if you do. So this part is the part that's got that 75% load because with this one we're not after muscle activation or muscle deactivation we're after changing a mechanic so it needs to be quite grunty and of course just you know heat that up make sure it sticks down the most crucial part of this the last thing you want is that peeling off after they leave the clinic and they go oh the tape didn't work so that's got to be clean you've got to make sure it's zero and really rub that down now the second one is going to overlay that so you're going to use this as almost that's your start point but i still believe that one tape's not enough so the second tape is actually going to come over the first tape as a bit of a grip. So what I like to do, and this one you can really go up to the 100% one, okay? So with this one, same starting position with that. 
and then what you're trying to do is I would come maybe, depends on where you've put this one, if you've gone too high, come a bit lower. I tend to come just a fraction under it. If I've got this one correct, I come under it a little bit. And then from there, then I can really get some power there. Just make sure you're not putting that tape, or see that curl there? You don't want any of that. And get under there. And I would come below the other one. You're almost coming on a bit of a drag anteriorly with that. And then get into there, watch your anchors. You can see that. Make sure that is. See, half of that is on the tape, half it's sort of on a skin, if you like. And that's going to give them a real lift support, which is, hey, guess what? When the quads contract, what do they do? They lift the patella. Okay, so if you don't have quads, this is giving you quads, if you like, when you're standing on one leg. So you'll find when they stand up, they go onto one leg and do their little squat, they'll have more range and less pain because it's almost like that patella is getting pulled up like the quads normally do, and you don't get as much impingement underneath. So give that one a shot. That's a really good one to do. Like I said, it's a means to an end. That is gonna help them do their quads work, which is gonna get them doing their rehab, and therefore they'll get better faster. It's only for like you know two or three days they leave it on, take it off, then spend two or three days without it, and then obviously when you see them again, you can tape it again. But if they can perhaps do that at home, if they're not seeing you, that's a really good one to do as well. See how that goes? See you next time.